Okay, here is a quick look at the antenna setup for my GPS disciplined time server. Uh, so I've got this here, just in the bedroom window. Um, just the, the mounting bracket is just attached to the window frame with a, a command strip. I might put in a screw later, we'll see how that holds. Um, and this incredibly heavy uh, coaxial cable, um, which I've got a couple of these little uh, sticky mounted cable guides. Um, their foam has already popped off a couple times, so I've got some more heavy duty double sided tape that I'll use there. Um, but then it runs down under the closet door here, under this little dresser, under, 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 around, back up behind, and to the time clock. And this is still all uh, opened up because I've been fiddling with it. Um, I've got a, a big heat sink here that's probably not necessary. Um, it's just sitting on the geode. The geode's only a you know two to three watt nominal part, um, but normally, you can see a, a little black block under there. Normally that presses up against the top case and that helps heat sink. Um, but I don't have that on right now because I've got VGA and PS2 connected um, for this uh, this monitor here. So that's why it's wide open. Um, but it is working pretty well. You can see we've got a, a handful in sight right now. And our uh, time status is in sync so that it's currently GPS disciplined. Uh, but I do have it in single satellite mode at the moment, um, just so that if it can't track uh, four or more, it, uh, it'll still hold a lock. So, seeing as this is only the temperature compensated, not the oven controlled or rubidium oscillator model, I, I think single satellite's going to be fine. And you can see, if I turn on the overhead light, down in there. That little can, that's the temperature compensated oscillator. So, and then there's the massive, massive coaxial cable with the type N connector running in there. So, yeah, pretty happy with this setup so far. Um, I'll probably just leave it. I've got some other uh, coax down there from a previous attempt the other day. Um, but I wasn't really happy with it because it involved the coax going out the window and then you can't see it but our patio is right over there a little ways so this I'm pretty happy with it seems to be working and it's not too in the way and I can shut the blinds let's see if I can do this over it and it does not interfere though so, at the bottom here I just need to adjust the coax so that it comes around the blinds. So this is very, very stiff. But it's super low loss, so it should be good for this application. And then I'll pull back the curtain, and that's it for now.